Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving a run DLL error you might be coming across on your computer versus that there was a problem starting and the specific module could not be found. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial in resolving your issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match to come back with File Explorer right above App. So go ahead and left click on that one time. Select this PC on the left side. And now go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. So go double click on that. Double click on the Users folder. And now you want to select whatever user account you're currently logged into. So I'm MD Tech. And now you want to go select the App Data folder. If you do not see the App Data folder here, you want to select the View tab. And then you want to make sure where it says hidden items, you want to make sure it's filled in right here, so it's a checkbox right there. So once you have that, now you want to double click on the app data folder. And now you want to double click on local. And now double click on the temp folder. Now you want to delete everything that's listed in here. So click inside any file in this folder here. Tap control A on your keyboard, so control and the A key combination, so control plus A basically. And now you want to right click and delete or you could select the delete key on your keyboard, doesn't really matter. It should say you'll need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder. Select continue or check marks at the box here says do this for all current items and then select continue. If there are any items that cannot be removed, don't worry about it, it's probably just currently in use. However, in my case, which is honestly pretty rare, it actually was able to delete everything. So it shouldn't be a big deal. All the temp files are now gone here. So hopefully that should have been able to resolve your issue with the run DLL. So you can close that out of here. If you want to unhide the hidden item view, you're welcome to uncheck that as well. So pretty straightforward here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.